In this video, we're going to give you a brief overview of HTML5. Hypertext markup language, otherwise referred to as HTML, played a real vital role in making the web a better place to hang out. Imagine if the web looked dull. Who'd want to stay around in front of our screens all day long? Who would enjoy browsing websites, listening, and viewing videos? No one. So with the fast advancement of technology, the demand for a better coding experience in creating web pages has pushed HTML to its limit. And thus, a better version was created in the new standard of HTML5. There's a lot of great new things that HTML5 supports, like new elements, new attributes, full CSS3 support, video and audio, 2D and 3D graphics, local storage, local SQL databases, and web applications. So the ability to support audio and video is also new in HTML5, making it easier for developers to add video and audio using the tags video and audio. Another good thing about the audio and video selectors is that it's supported in all major browsers. With HTML5, drawing graphics is simplified with the new elements like the canvas selector, inline SVG, and the use of CSS3 2D and 3D transforms. Web and mobile development is so much easier with HTML5. Here are some of the features added that make the whole development process easier. Local data storage, which allows a web page to store information locally within the client browser, similar to how cookies were used in previous versions. Also, local file access. The use of local SQL databases. Application caching that allows a web application to be accessible without an internet connection. And finally, HTML5 web workers that allow JavaScript to run in the background without affecting the performance of the page. Ideally, semantic elements should describe their purpose clearly, making it easier for developers to understand. However, there are tags that don't have any meaning like the div tag. So we would commonly use IDs or declare class names such as div class equals header to the div tags to give meaning to it. But now in HTML5, new semantic elements were released to convey clearly the purpose of those elements. Here are a few examples of the new elements in HTML5. Header for the header, footer for the footer, section for wrapping content in a section, nav for menu navigation, article for placing your main content, and a side for creating left and right sidebars. Along with these new elements, there are also new form elements, new attributes, new input types, and automatic validation. With the new HTML5 combined with CSS3, creating some cool effects is much easier with these new elements. New selectors, new properties, animations, 2D and 3D transformations, rounded corners, shadow effects, downloadable fonts, and much, much more. So there you go. I gave you a brief overview on what's new in HTML5. There's a whole lot more of the new stuff in HTML5 to cover. So in our next video, we'll walk through all the new elements in HTML5. See you there.